UCLA scientists say this barge in San Pedro could be the answer to a carbon-free future. The technology of Project Sea Change traps CO2 in the air, runs it through a machine to mix it with ocean water, and then it comes out as a powderized form of calcium carbonate. That's a natural ingredient that makes up seashells. Scientists say the process also creates green energy. The technology is still in its prototype stage, and engineers hope to improve and expand it so it can be used in real-life settings and move us toward a carbon-free future. Dante Simonetti is the associate director at the UCLA Institute of Carbon Management. Uh, thanks for waking up with us this morning. This is such a cool story. Walk us through why this is such a big deal. So uh, this is a big deal for three reasons. First, it's a technology that actually has the potential to reach global carbon dioxide removal scales. And so that's on the order of 10 gigatons of CO2 removed per year. Second, our process actually captures and sequesters the carbon dioxide in the same step. So we don't have to rely on a secondary infrastructure or a secondary receiver to take and store our carbon dioxide for us. And third, our process has a very clear pathway towards economic viability because we're so efficient with our energy usage and because we produce some valuable co-products along the way. Thank goodness scientists like you exist to solve our world's problems. Uh, this is a complicated process to all of us. Explain in layman's terms how this works. So, you know, it's actually a very simple process. Our process takes in seawater, which already has naturally dissolved carbon dioxide and minerals. And all we use is electricity to induce some simple chemical reactions that then precipitate this carbon dioxide and these minerals as solid forms of calcium and magnesium that then trap carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And along the way, this reaction produces hydrogen. And this is a, the big benefit of our process in that that hydrogen can either be recycled to reduce the energy needed for our process, or it can be distributed as electricity or as a form of energy for heavy industry or heavy transport. And finally, our process rebalances the seawater such that we can return it to the ocean in the exact same form as when we took it in. It's pretty incredible. Uh, it's still in its prototype stage right now. What is it going to take to expand it? So it's going to take for us to keep growing and keep building. So we need to leverage the information that we collect on our bars to build the next biggest plant and build the next biggest plant. And then we need to identify various partners that can help us replicate these plants across the globe, whether they be onshore, whether they be integrated within existing industrial facilities, or whether they be integrated into offshore energy platforms. Well, we know we can certainly use that uh, here in Southern California and around the world, really. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and breaking it down. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much.